Right, Shalom. First, I'd like to give all praises on to Yahweh Bashem Yahushai and double honors on to the apostles at Great Millstone and honestly, brothers out there in the highways and the byways teaching this word in all sincerity and truth. And um, this video is just, um, you know, to glorify the names of Yahweh and the name of Yahweh Shai, man. You know, the names of Yahweh were Yahweh Shai. Because, um, you know, we we are at a, a point now where it's spiritual. We're in a day of atonement, and great things, great and terrible things, has happened tr right before the day of atonement, and it's looking like great and terrible things are gonna happen right after. And we're in the midst of it in this weekend. Like yeah, the market you know crashing on Friday, and they're saying it's not looking too good for Monday, and then. You got all this information coming out on September and all that. But yet still, you got guys out there that are playing games and they don't want to give honor unto the name of the Father and then pulling out Psalms 138 about the day, you know, the Lord magnified the word above his name as if to say that we're supposed to take the name of the Lord as a light thing. When the, What does the word say about his name? Since you want to go down that route. Well, Exodus 20 and 7 says, Thou shalt not take the name of Yahweh thy God in vain, for the Lord will not hold him guiltless that taketh his name in vain. All right, because we're, we're coming to the time when we're going to have to call on the name of the Lord, man, to be delivered out of this 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 destruction that's coming. And, and, and we're right on the precipice of the time of Jacob's trouble. Okay, and it's spiritual, man, because... A lot of things have been what happened in the last week, man, and it's looking like things are gonna ramp up the week after. And, and when was the day of atonement? Right, right in the 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 middle of it, man, in the midst of it. So you, you know we gotta be spiritual about this thing. Now let's get um eight eighteen and ten, Proverbs eighteen and ten. It says the name of Yahweh is a strong tower. The righteous runneth into it and is safe. And and really that that the righteous is talking about the elect and, and they they're made righteous because of the the um atonement which is granted unto us by Yahweh Shai man Lord will I'm one of those men we're made righteousness we're made righteous because of the righteousness of Yahweh Shai man we're covered under Yahweh Shai it is written there is no condemnation in him that is in Yahweh Shai okay that's what makes us righteous man. Yahweh Shai makes us righteous, man. And our faith in him, in his name, and our faith in the name of his father. But there is what a mediator between God and man. So we need both those names. And we have to proclaim those names and glorify those names. And those names will be glorified. We have to fear those names. All right. Now just get proverbs since we're in proverbs proverbs 30 and 4 it says who have ascended into heaven or descended and who who have gathered the wind in his fists or who have bound the waters in the garment who have established all the ends of the earth what is his name and what is his son's name if thou canst tell okay because the name of the lord is 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 um the hottest commodity on the earth man the name of the lord and his word that's the hottest command co commodity on on earth man those are the top two commodities man the name of the names of the father and the son and the understanding of the scriptures that's those are the two two uh, uh, uh hottest commodities on the earth man and it's only given on to and the faith in those names, of course, is only given as a gift unto the elect. And that's what we're finding out. That's exactly what we're finding out. All right. There's only a few men that are going to meet those requirements and possess that oil. Now, this is the book of Exodus 3 and 15. I'm going to get that up. Exodus 3 and 15, it says, uh oh, Salafia. And God said moreover unto Moses, Thus shalt thou say unto the sons of Israel, Yahweh, God of your fathers, God of Abraham, and the God of Isaac, and the God of Jacob, have sent me unto you. 
this is my name forever and this is my memorial unto all generation so that name is yahweh and is his name forever and we're going to glorify those names man as our forefathers did our righteous forefathers and we're going to glorify the name of his son which is yahweh shai go and gather the elders of israel together and say unto them yahweh god of your fathers the god of abraham of of isaac and of jacob appeared unto me saying i have surely visited you and seen that which is done to you in egypt and that's basically what we're doing all over again we're going to our people and saying look man the lord have heard the the, the cries of israel in, and and in this, this captivity that they're suffering throughout the planet earth and mainly in america and yahweh Baasham yahweh shai have is gonna save uh, our people the ones who believe in him who believe in his son which is yahweh shai we must declare and proclaim those names it ain't hard to understand those names are to be glorified man before we are glorified because our glory comes from those names being under the shadow of those names being under the wings of those names we are nothing without the names of yahweh shami yahweh shai man and his knowledge wisdom understanding that shall come from that we're nothing without Yahweh Shai, man. We're nothing without Yahweh Shem Yahweh Shai. You lot, you guys are too proud, man. You're proud to be Israelites. You forgot, man, that you came over here on slave ships, man. Why? Because you didn't have the name and you didn't have his word. Scriptures speak about we are the salt of the earth, but if the salt has lost its savor, what's the savor of Israel? The knowledge of the heavenly father man which includes his name and faith in his word okay now i want to get first kings 18 and 24 just to make a point you know so like if i'm jumping around you know between points but you know i'm just coming out in the spirit so like that's that's not what i wanted first kings 18 I just want to make a point man because um this is the prophet elijah um it says and call ye on the name of your gods so who were the gods because their gods had names see these guys wanted to say the name and then try and make the name look like it's something else other than the name look when he told them to call upon the name of their gods he wasn't talking about philosophy man he was actually talking about the name of their gods kemosh dagon uh molek okay or malak if you want to say it in the hebrew malak you know you know baal you know dag da, da, um, dagan all right that was the names of their gods the different gods of the heathens and i will call on the name of yahweh so what did what what name did elijah call on he called on the name of yahweh and the god that answereth by fire let him be god and all the people answered and said it is well spoken because at the end of the day there is no salvation in any other name <laughs> under heaven than in the name of yahweh shai and the name of yahweh you gotta go to yahweh through yahweh shai man all right and the only deliverance is going to be through those names and that's going to glorify those names and prove that those names are the names of the living powers man okay and that's it because you're going to get when when this hell breaks you're going to get people calling on the names of these other gods and none of them shall be saved no one shall be saved in the name of allah no one shall be saved in the name of uh, uh um uh, uh, buddha or, or christ but the elect shall be saved in the names of yahweh or yahweh shai man and that's going to glorify those names all right Let's move on in the scriptures. This is all right. So the next scripture, Exodus five and twenty-three, because um, basically we are we are doing the work of the prophets of old, man, and the prophets of old always came in the name of the Lord to proclaim the name of the Lord, which means to say before. 
part of it. what does a prophet do they say before so they say what's going to happen before it happens and they also say the name of the lord so that when it does happen you can attribute those works to the heavenly father man it's very simple so that glory goes to the father and none else exodus 5 and 23 for since i came to pharaoh to speak in thy name because when he came before pharaoh pharaoh knew what god moses was coming in the name of because he spoke the hebrew and he spoke he spoke um the name in the hebrew for since I came to the Pharaoh to speak in thy name, he hath done evil to this people, neither hast thou delivered thy people at all. Because the Egyptians knew the name of the Lord through Moses. And guess what? The name of the Lord became famous and glorified throughout the earth to the point that you had Canaanites that knew of the name of the Lord and they feared the Lord, man, in that name. And that account is written in the book of Joshua, man. So the same thing's going to happen all over again, man. All right, the Lord's name is going to be glorified. Is He Yahweh is going to be glorified in His Son, and the Son's going to be glorified in the Father, and we're going to be glorified in that we be saved by them in those names. Okay, but the glory and the, the praises go to them. This is um. Uh, let's get Numbers six and twenty-seven. But well, we're going to jump up a bit. Numbers uh, six. Start from um twenty. Uh, and the Lord uh, and Yahweh spake unto Moses saying speak unto Aaron and unto his sons saying on this wise you shall bless the sons of Israel saying unto them Yahweh bless thee and keep thee Yahweh make his face uh, to shine upon thee and be gracious unto thee Yahweh lift up his countenance upon thee and give thee peace and they shall put my name upon the sons of Israel and I will bless them and that's why the scriptures speak about being sealed in their foreheads with the names of the Father and the Son. Because basically when we go out here and we teach these words and the truth and the, peop the, the people that accept this truth and have faith on it and believe on the names of Yahweh Bar Shem Yahweh Shai, we've put the name of the Lord upon them and the Lord's going to bless them with salvation, man. Okay, we put that vibration in the name of the Father and the name of the Son upon them. Now, you've got some people that know the name of the Father and the Son, but because they don't believe in the Word, it, the, 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 really the names aren't within them. But the elect, the names are within them, man, because they believe in His Word. All right? They have faith in Him. They have faith in, in His Word. Now, um, let's get Psalms 86 and 12. Psalms 8, 6 and 12 says, I will praise thee, O Lord, O, o Yahweh, my God, with all my heart, and will glorify thy name forevermore. Okay, so that's that's plain and uh, and to the point, man. Now let's get John. Now let's use Yahweh Shai as an example. Because Yahweh Shai was about the name of his father, man. Just as we are to be about the name of Yahweh Shai and the Father's name. Because the scripture says, honor the, honor the son as you honor the father. And he that honoreth not the son, honoreth not the father. And as you, the scripture is clear on the name of Yahweh Shai. Anything you ask of the father in the name of Yahweh Shai, it shall be granted unto thee. Okay, so we already know what the, the, state, the, the, the process is, man. So don't get simple. Let's get John... Um, John 12 and 28. Which is a bad scripture. John 12 and 28. And this is what Yahweh Shai said. He said, Father, glorify thy name. Hold on. I thought you guys said the Lord magnified his, 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 um, his, his word above his name. Uh, so that I guess that means that the, the name of the Lord isn't to be glorified. No, it's still. What did, what did the word himself say? Is not Yahweh Shai the word? <laughs> the, the word himself said father glorify thy name so the name of the father is to be glorified man then came there a voice from heaven saying i have both glorified it and will glorify it again <laughs> because the name of the father was glorified in yahweh shai man okay let's get revelations 15 and 14 
obviously made a mistake here. Sorry, 15 and 4. <laughs> right, Revelations 15 and 4. Who shall not fear thee, O Yahweh, and glorify thy name? <laughs> well, obviously, R-U-I-C. <laughs> Who shall not fear thee? Well, you guess what? They are going to fear the name of the Lord, man. When the missiles come down on their ass, and glorify thy name, for thou only art holy, for all nations shall come and worship before thee, for thy judgments are made manifest. And and and, and right now, because right now, the only people that are going to glorify the name of the Lord and fear the name of the Lord uh, is the elect but once the lord do, does this destruction man and brings these judgments the whole earth are going to fear the name of the lord all right and that's a beautiful thing the lord's name is going to be glorified in that day and his son's name is going to be glorified in that day too i gotta to keep mentioning that like i said we're in the midst of a thing man you go on to drudge report and you see what's going on you got xenophobia running rampant in europe right now uh, xenophobia is running rampant in Europe right now. Look at this. Uh, 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 border battle. Judge orders um, prompt release of immigrant children from detention. Protesters in Germany attack buses. Foreigners out. Chaos at Macedonia border as refugees tear through police lines. 3,000 migrants rescued off Italy in single day. Tensions rise. Right? Then you got the whole thing with, with Iran ramping up. North Korea, all this happened in the last week. Everything's heating up. You got this the stock market thing that happened on the Friday. Then the Day of Atonement comes in while the stock market is off on the weekend, and then the stock market's coming back on the Monday, man. Hey, hey boy, you gotta take this thing serious, man. World the um world's richest people lose 182 billion as market route deepens, and that was on Friday. Weekend of worry, Apple ugly. We're in that weekend of worry on the Day of Atonement, man. Think about that. Signs of panic like selling. China blamed for free fall. Oil biggest losing streak in 30 years. Currency collapse. Claim Dow 5,000. Yes, it could happen. Then we got, uh, I've got some other articles here. Um, look at this. Uh, it says, just days away from one wild month. Massive military train seen in Colorado. And Mississippi with a hun with hundreds of machines of war on American soil. Jade Helm. All right. So you see what's going on. What's going on, man? We're in, what we're in the midst of right now. The time of Jacob's trouble is at hand. Okay. Um, the, the, the time of great tribulation, where you gonna need the name of the Lord and and and, and um, the, 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 you know the, the the name of His Son, uh, to be delivered, man. All right. To be blessed. Russia and Iran, emergence of new nuclear alliance. Russia and Iran have reached an agreement over the delivery of S-300 long-range surface-to-air missile systems by the end of 2015, which they probably already given them a few, but the, the more S-300 systems um, they get, the more casualties America's going to get and, or Israel's going to get when they go to, go to war with them. So that means that they got basically... They got to go to war now because Iran's only going to get more militarily strong. They're not going to get weaker because the S-300 system will shoot their planes out of the sky, man. It's the best uh, air defense system in the world and the Patriot missile system doesn't fucking work. So th this is the, s the s seriousness uh, uh, of the times that we're in the midst of and it's spiritual that the Day of Atonement landed right in between, right when basically there's great fear of a of a of an economic collapse and, and of world war three and that brewing man everything is escalating man and we're right in the midst of that and you got september coming up and there's a whole heap of madness they're saying it's prescribed for september man and then the lord had the day of atonement to be right at the end of august man and right in the midst of a of a, of a stock market crash man which it could go it, who knows what's gonna happen monday man which Monday would be basically the next day from the end of the Day of Atonement, man. You got to think about that, man. All right. So, hey, I ain't, you know, I ain't going to go on too much, man. But we got, you know, we got to remember, man, that we need salvation. And a lot of these niggas out here are going to remember that when they're in the midst of that tribulation. But right now they're playing games with this thing. And this Israel thing is a game thing to them. They, they're not thinking about 
their, 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 their salvation. They're thinking about building up some fucking community and playing games because they don't actually think that this great tribulation is going to come down upon us, man. But it is. And it's going to come down suddenly with great wrath. And we're going to need the, the Lord to, to, to be a hedge around us in that day. But we must remain faithful unto death. All right? All right? And, and pray that Yahweh Shai pardons us. Because it's written, the Son of Man have power to forgive sins on earth. Pardons us from, from our sins and our transgressions, man. That we may be blameless, man. Okay? And receive salvation. So with that, I'm going to say Shalom.